North Korea threatens thousand-fold revenge on the U.S. after unsanctions in response to weapons testing saying we will never step back from strengthening our nuclear might. North Korea has lashed out at the latest round of unsanctions calling them the rampant violation of our sovereignty and a frontal challenge to our republic. Kim Jong-un will take revenge thousand-fold on the U.S. and unleash decisive justice on the U.S., the statement said, knowing we'll never step back from strengthening our nuclear might. The dictator will also never negotiate over nukes as long as the anti-DPRK administration of the United States and its nuclear threat continued, it said. The Hermit State issued the statement on Monday in response to the latest round of unsanctions, which imposed a $1 billion trade embargo on North Korea and exports. It also comes after Secretary of State Rex Tillerson suggested the U.S. would be open to talks with Kim provided he halted his missile program. The statement laid the blame for the latest round of sanctions squarely at the door of the United States, despite the fact that the unresolution was jointly directed with China, the North's closest trading partner and reluctant ally. Fresh sanctions are a product of the atrocities of the United States, it said, accusing the Trump administration of making extreme anti-hostility policies and nuclear threats. It called the latest test of the Wasong-14 intercontinental ballistic missile a stern warning to the U.S saying it is time America learns to coexist with us. Instead, America is becoming more and more pernicious, and it is trying to drag the situation of the Korean Peninsula back to nuclear battles. By imposing sanctions America will only hasten self-destruction, the statement says, adding that North Korea will, will not hesitate to use to any last resort. However, the statement, which was published by state news agency KCNA, insisted that its mission to develop nuclear missiles is only designed as a defensive measure. The statement came after a meeting between Chinese Foreign Minister Huang Yi and his North Korea counterpart Haraya go over the sanctions. China urged North Korea to stop conducting missile and nuclear tests because it provokes the international community's goodwill. The United Nations Security Council at the weekend passed a new set of sanctions against Pyongyang over its weapons programs, including bans on the export of coal, iron and iron ore lead and lead ore as well as fish and seafood from the impoverished state. The measures were approved unanimously, including by China, the North's sole major ally and economic lifeline, and Russia. Kim Jong-un has long held the ambition to develop a nuclear weapon capable of ranging the mainland the United States, and the most recent ICBM test shows he now has a missile capable of doing so. However, it is not clear whether the North has yet developed a nuclear warhead small enough to be mounted to the missile. It is also unclear whether the country has the technology to bring the warhead down successfully without it disintegrating. But many weapons control experts now believe the North will develop these capabilities sometime in the next few years, the move that President Trump has warned will not happen. That ultimatum has raised the prospect of fresh conflict on the Korean Peninsula. If the U.S. decides to stop Kim's nuclear program by force, 